Hey there, Marin County real estate buyers and sellers. I've got the inside scoop with your January real estate update. Is January off to a good start for buyers or sellers? And which price metric is down 22.6%? So let's get to it. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Marin, reach out to me. I'm a past California attorney turned realtor, and I've lived in Marin County nearly 30 years and raised three children here. I'd love to help you make a smart move. Sold homes. Let's start with the homes that sold during January. Of the 86 homes, I know, not very many, that sold, 59 homes closed below list price with an average of 9% below list. 11 homes closed at about list price and 16 homes close above list price with an average of 6% above. So how do those numbers compare with prior months? Well, they're weaker overall, with a higher percentage of homes selling under list for the last three months. Let's compare that with the rest of the stats. Oh, before we get to that, if you'd like to see all the detailed closed information complete with the addresses and the math regarding selling above, at, or below the list price, I provide that in my monthly newsletter. You won't find that information anywhere else. If you'd like a copy, just email me with the subject line newsletter and I'll add you to the list. That newsletter is going to be going out this weekend. So if you want the copy from January's numbers, reach out soon. And now to the charts. All right, first we'll go over the inventory. So the tall green bars here represent all the homes that are currently on the market for sale. The short green bars are those that have sold during the month, and the little red line here are those that are pended. I generally don't pay a lot of attention to the ones that are pended, but the idea of showing those on these graphs is that you get a little idea of what's going to happen with the closed sales the next month. So for example here, pended sales went up a little bit. So the natural inclination is that when homes close, which are often 30 days, that that'll show up in next month's statistics and there's a little bit of an increase. Now let's go over what actually happened in January. The numbers for it are down here. The for sale homes from month to month, meaning from December to January, did increase well, 3.1%, not much. When you compare that to the same time last year though, it's down 4.7%. So there is less inventory this January than there was last January, which is like a continuance of this theme of inventory just not being there. So we don't like that for buyers. Sellers should love it though. It tends to keep your prices up. And you have the same decrease when you compare the whole quarter from this year to last year. Really? That seems highly unlikely, but apparently that's the math. All right, so now going down to the sold houses, from December to January, sold homes dropped 33.8%. It does happen every year. You can see when you go up here to, here's our December, and then there's January. And if you go back to the prior year, here's December and there's January. This is not surprising because homes, like I said, don't close for like 30 days. There's more people buying homes in November and then they close in December than there are buying homes in December that then close in January because of the holidays, of course. So regarding those homes that the sales went down 33.8% from January to December, or December to January, they increased 36.5% when you include this January's number from last January's number. So that's interesting. That would be here that this bar is bigger than that bar was. Moving on to days on market. And actually this chart shows two interesting things. Ah, uh, let me get rid of that right there. Shows two interesting things. So the yellow bars are the days on market and you can see that there's a substantial increase from December to January. And again, let's see how that looks seasonally. Last year, there was also an increase from December to January. So what's most gonna be interesting is are we gonna start going down as we move into spring? like we seasonally do. And the numbers on that for days on market is it went up 24.5% uh, from December to January. Like I said, that's not unusual, but it did go up 8.2% when you compare this month to the prior year's January. So that's of interest. And the other interesting thing on this chart is we get right here, the sales price over the original list price. So you get an idea if homes are selling for a lot more than lists, which they were like in 2022. 
these numbers, there were a lot of numbers like this, like 102, which they were over list. And you can see that they trickled down here in January to 93% of list, which shows some general weakening, but again, it tends to happen seasonally anyway. Okay, so let's take a look at prices. I love prices. These area down here, these are the median prices and the red line here are the average prices. I don't pay a lot of attention to this bar because those are the prices that people just are just asking for their homes. They're not actual sales, but that is the stat that went down 22.6%. It was from January of this year compared to January of last year that the average home sales price being asked dropped 22.6%. That is a significant drop there compared to what's actually happening in sales though. So it's gonna be interesting to see what's happening there. Are maybe sellers starting to price their homes lower? Time will tell. All right, moving on to the actual sales, the median price sold from January to December did go down 1.5%. Uh, and when you compare that number to last January, however, the price is up 22.8%. This January thing with the median price, that seems to be a real aberration. And as you know, the way a median price is actually mathematically done, with Marin County having so many different houses from a super high range to a super well, not super inexpensive, but you know what I mean? Lower, much lower. This median price thing can just move all over the place. Kind of like average prices too, which is why I look at both of them always to try to come up with some kind of middle road of what's really going on. Anyway, let's go on to the average price. Average price in Marin County from December to January decreased 8.9%, while the average price when you compare January, this red line here, to January of last year, that was down only 1%. And last, because prices are so important, let's compare the whole quarter just to get more information. There you can see that regarding median prices, when you look at the whole quarter, let me get my little thing here, they went up 7% quarter to quarter, whereas the average sold price went down 2.7%. Let's take a look at the square footage to see what we might get there the price per square foot that is. Okay, price per square foot. This is interesting stuff, right? Seems to kind of show a weakening. We'll see how this plays out, of course, but I would say when you look at this drop here in price per square foot, that's pretty significant and it's steep. Whereas, okay, we don't have, we don't have October on this chart, but look at this one. This was not nearly as steep as it is over here. So the actual numbers is price per square foot from December to January decreased 9.1%. And for the January compared to last January, it decreased 10%. And if you look the entire quarter, price per square foot is still down 3.2%. So any way that you slice it here, price per square foot is down which I would say overall suggests that maybe the market is shifting and I'll have more to say about that in my take, which is coming next. My take. My take on the current market is that things are really slow. Only 86 homes sold in January. And while that's a seasonal thing because it's always pretty slow in January, it's still interesting. My own experience with transactions in January is that it was easier to negotiate for lower prices. Now, with this lack of inventory, you might think prices would continue to be very firm, but that was not my experience. What I saw was more motivated sellers open to lower prices and negotiation, which is likely happening because of the increased days on market. In other words, although it remains a seller's market due to the lack of inventory, the seemingly fewer buyers out there is extending how long it takes a seller to sell. And hey, we're all human. Sellers get worried and they become more pliable. Perhaps our market is shifting to a balance between being a buyer's market and a seller's market. Time will tell. Seasonally, spring brings more inventory, more sales and higher prices. Those stats will start rolling out in the March data. And if you'd like more information about living in Marin, or some of my town walking tours, check out the videos that should be showing right now. And hey, please subscribe. It really helps motivate me 
to keep pumping out this content. Have a great day.